guys, this is Monica from CabinCrewExcellence.com. Today's video is meant to help you understand why are you failing at your cabin crew interview. Now, whether you're just applying for the first time or you've already failed at least once, you need to listen to this nonetheless. So why are you failing at your interview? If you're applying online and you're not receiving your invitation for the assessment day, there could be two reasons. First, maybe the number of invitations allocated to the assessment day have finished, although this is quite a small possibility because airlines will recruit however many valuable candidates they find. Now, the reason there are usually very few selected people to receive an invitation is because their applications are very poorly prepared, which brings us to the main reason why you aren't receiving your invitation. Now, we've had so many candidates saying, I sent all the documents required for the online application and I didn't get invited. I don't understand. I did everything they asked. When we ask to see their pictures or CVs or the scenario some airlines ask you to describe as part of the online application, we understand exactly why the invitation is not coming. Now, we'll come back to this in a minute. So that applies to online applications. If you're going to an open day for a CV drop-off and you aren't asked to stay or to come back for the assessment day, then your application or the few minutes of discussion you've spent with the recruiters simply didn't strike them in any way to think that you're a valuable asset to their team. If you look online on all the groups dedicated to cabin crew and their interview experiences, and I know that you do look at all these groups, you will find many people that have already failed their interview, but yet they sign on and give others advice or opinions about their photos or how to behave at the interview. Now, as a side note, we don't want to upset or disappoint anybody, but sometimes we all need a little hard love and a push forward to understand what we're doing wrong and to up our game. So going back to our topic, if you failed your interview and you're listening to such invalid opinions you find in all these groups, you have nobody but yourself to blame for, for listening to people that have no clue. Now, another general misconception present in these groups is that nothing really matters. You shouldn't give too much thought to the requirements and what are the recruiters looking for. You just have to show up, smile and be yourself. Now, this is really bad advice. When you are stressed out of your mind, you don't know what to expect, and you face hundreds of competitors all wanting your dream job, you will not be yourself. Okay, that's a fact. You will be a very stressed and emotional version of yourself. If you add to that the fact that you have no idea what the recruiters are looking for and how you should treat certain situations, being yourself will not help you pass that interview. You have to understand that knowledge gives you power. So knowing what to expect and what are the recruiters looking at will give you the confidence to deal with everything in the best way and it will allow you to really be yourself. Thinking that all that matters is to smile and be yourself is really very naive. Airlines of this caliber have a reputation and very high standards of service to maintain. Their candidates need to be equipped with the whole package. So the requirements are not randomly picked. When they say, for example, you should be impeccably groomed, that has to reflect in your CV, in your pictures, in the folder of documents you're carrying with you, in everything. That, that is just one simple example. If you show up perfectly dressed and made up, but your CV is chaotic, your photos are over-edited, although you are smiling in them, you will not make it through that interview. Now, another thing you have to understand is that failing an interview once or multiple times before you get the job is not the standard. There are people passing the first time around. I passed my first interview the first time I tried. Simona did the same when we applied together. Many of our friends did it, and so are other candidates at every single recruitment drive. If you've had an interview already, you know what I'm saying is true. Some of the people that attended with you for the first time are now joining the airline that you applied for, or maybe they're in training or already flying. Right, so, so what do you do? Despite another online misconception that says, try harder next time. Don't worry, just smile and be yourself and you will get it. 
What you actually need to do is just try smarter. If you're not going to change your perspective and the quality of your application, but you're going to expect to succeed while making the same mistakes, you will end up in the same spot over and over again. The worst thing of all is that candidates, probably like yourself, aren't even aware of the mistakes they're making. We see people like yourself posting pictures online every day asking for the masses' opinions. Pictures that are over-edited with the wrong body position, without a proper smile or with less than perfect grooming standards, receive comments like, perfect, go for it, you look great, you're going to get the job, and so on. Now, although we think the support and encouragement of such people is heartwarming and really wonderful, we also know that these persons are not experienced recruiters and all they do is voice their opinions. This is not an advice you should be using when preparing for your next interview. We know that you might find comfort in this kind of support, but they are doing you a disservice because you will continue to do bad at your interview. Now, if you think I'm being harsh, that's fine. If you're not at 40,000 feet living your dream and are sitting here watching this video, it's because somebody wasn't harsh enough with you earlier and you haven't been given the correct advice to prepare for your interview properly. It's good for you to remember that only 5 to 10% of the applicants dreaming to fly for Emirates or Etihad or Qatar or any other major airline actually get the job. 5 to 10%. This is a staggering percentage. So if you want to be among the lucky 10%, you need to be smart and prepare thoroughly. You need to know what to expect during the interview and to understand exactly how you need to deal with everything from the recruiter's perspective. Failing is really extremely heartbreaking and demoralizing. We see it every day in the candidates we coach. But you can find valid support in our free videos posted either on our website, on our YouTube channel, or on Facebook. So do your research using the right sources. We're also hosting live online webinars to help you find answers to your dilemmas. So make sure you register and come ask us any questions or advice that might help you land your cabin crew job. If you have an interview coming up and you want to prepare as best as possible, we hold online one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions every day, so book your session and we'll be happy to guide you through it all. You'll find all the necessary links under this video. One last note is the fact that Simona and I are recruiters ourselves and know the difference between candidates that are ready to take on this job and those that aren't ready. And your recruiters in the interview day will see right through you. I look forward to seeing all of you at the online webinar. Take care for now and have a wonderful day wherever you are.